welcome to a video where I shall rank characters in a specific genre and piss off people across the globe because it does not match up with their opinion and therefore believe I should be incarcerated. Today's ranking will be on the top 4 legendary upgrades in battle for Naborville out of a potential of 4 candidates who will come out on top. Let's get started. In 4th place. We have Thorn Apart. This legendary upgrade is more of a secondary weapon attachment than an outright weapon replacement. Whilst it does offer a neat option for burst damage by supporting teammates, at best, it mildly fixes Rose's low damage output issue and allows her to duel against lower health classes and mildly bulkier ones with the use of Jinx. Whilst in optimal lobbies, one can charge the bar very easily. It's not exactly an optimal strategy, especially when you are forced to give up powerful up upgrades such as Thistle Missile, Time Snare, and Locked and Loaded for only a 100 damage burst option. In third place. We have the Steam Blaster. This upgrade swaps Scientist Primary to a short range area control weapon with lingering damage over time. This weapon does offer generally great crowd control and high amounts of damage. That and it can be combined with materialized to very easily keep up the lingering damage. What holds Steam Blaster back however, are a multitude of factors. From its harsh range cap of just 16 meters, to its very small ammo cap of 4, which basically forces you to use materialize with the weapon in order to get any usage out of it. The weapon has good damage, it's just situational and clunky. In second place. We have the Shogun Guard. This upgrade makes Korn's primary much more demanding and the player's accuracy. It rewards with much more damage per shot, along with an additional shield attachment. Whilst this shield only sponges 75 damage, it allows for you to survive certain forms of burst damage, as well as peek safely without risking sudden death. Whilst you don't get access to upgrades such as Rapid Recob or Super Spin, it's overall a fairly decent legendary upgrade, with enough upsides to justify all all of its downsides. And in first place, we have Vibranium Basher. This upgrade grants insane mobility, the most in the entire fucking game, along with very high burst potential, capable of one-shotting all but four classes in the whole game if no overheal is in play. Not to mention, this upgrade can still be paired with what many would consider to be SB's best upgrade, Typhoon, as it only costs two points. So combining the Vibranium Basher with the Typhoon upgrade makes a very devastating combination that few plants will be able to survive. It is because of these cases capabilities, that I firmly believe that the Branium Basher is the best legendary upgrade in the game. Be sure to come back for the next episode in 2 weeks. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.